Scott Harrison came to New York City a teenager and soon became a club promoter, literally getting paid to drink and party. And then one day he realized his life needed more meaning. He volunteered, he traveled the world, and then his life took a new direction, one that has now brought clean water to more than 7 million people in 24 countries around the world. And this is how he did it. My upbringing was pretty conservative, a family of very strong Christian faith. I didn't smoke, I didn't drink, I didn't cuss, until 18. And then at 18, I moved to New York City and just said, now it's time to have some fun. And over the next 10 years, I became a nightclub promoter. I couldn't believe that there was this job in New York City where you'd get paid to drink. As you can imagine, you know, I started picking up the unhealthy vices that go along with that. And I had this epiphany when I was 28 years old. I'd gotten most of the things that I thought would make me happy. My girlfriend was on the cover of fashion magazines. I drove a BMW. I had a grand piano in my New York apartment. I just realized that I had somehow become the worst person that I knew. And I was emotionally bankrupt. I was spiritually bankrupt. I was morally bankrupt. And I knew that I had to make a serious change. I began to apply to the famous humanitarian organizations I'd heard of. And one by one, I'm denied. Because of course these are serious humanitarians and I'm a nightclub promoter. Finally, one organization, writes and says, if I'm willing to pay them $500 a month, I can volunteer and I have to go live in Liberia, which at that time was the poorest country in the world, having just escaped a 14 year civil war. So I said, this is it, when do I start? For the first time in my life, I saw extreme poverty. I set foot in a country with no electricity, no running water, no sewage. Over that two year time, of all the things I saw, I just couldn't believe people were drinking dirty water. And I thought maybe I could make a difference with this one. We can build wells, we can build rainwater harvesting systems. There are all these solutions. Maybe I could use the rest of my life to help bring clean and safe drinking water to as many people as possible. I had no idea how to actually launch a charity, so I threw a party in the nightclub. And on the way in, I said, please donate $20, and 100% will go to build water projects. And 700 people came, we raised $15,000 that night, and instead of putting the 15 grand in my pocket, we took every single penny, to a refugee camp in northern Uganda. We did our first few projects. And then, when they were complete, we sent the photos and the GPS and video of clean water flowing back to the 700 people that came. And people were blown away. They could see the clean water that they had made possible. So this movement of birthdays begins to spring up and 31-year-olds donate their 31st, 51-year-olds just all across the board. We've been able to help 7.3 million people get clean water across the world. We believe in a day when everyone has clean water to drink, and we'll continue fighting for that. And Scott Harrison joins me now. Welcome, Scott. Thank you so much for being here. Nice to, nice to be here. Thanks. So we met a couple of months ago, and Scott told me an unbelievable story, which really profoundly affected me about a nine-year-old girl named Rachel. Yeah, so Rachel had given up her birthday and said, no birthday gifts, no party. Uh, she wanted to raise money for Clean Water Said, and she asked everyone for $9. And she raised $220. Uh, and then right after her birthday, she was killed in a car crash. Uh, there was a 20-car pileup. She was the only fatality. And word of this nine-year-old girl that cared about other people uh, starts spreading around the world. And strangers, over 33,000 strangers, donate $9 in her honor. And she winds up raising $1.3 million to help people get clean water. Um, this was years ago. Uh, the amazing thing about the story is that so many of those strangers then donated their birthdays. They raised another $2 million. So this nine-year-old girl has, has given over 100,000 people clean water. Her legacy. And what you saw is that the water is there. They just can't access it. And so the mm. money goes to build these wells that just help the people access what we take for granted every day, water. That's true. I mean, clean water is, uh, it's life. As we go to these communities, uh, the, the communities are changed. It's the first time they've ever seen clean water. Think about that. And that is why I have been inspired to give up my birthday. Uh, 47, not quite 9, 20, as I like to say. Uh, and honestly, I'm happy to do it. And I'm That's amazing. to be associated with you guys. And I'm going to be uh, a donor. Yeah, all the good, thank you. <laughs> good, good luck. All the best to you guys. And you can learn more about Charity Water at today.com slash Megan Today. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.